So now that we've checked the cookie exists and we've set the cookie that doesn't exist, that's basically our login for the user. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the uh, function that will actually send messages to our update.php script. So the way we do that is we go down here and we're going to create a new function. We're going to call it uh, send msg. It's going to take no parameters for, uh, it doesn't take any parameters. And what we're going to do is we're going to send an AJAX request to our server. So we're going to say var message is equal to, uh, before we do that, we actually want to scroll up and we want to get the value of this. So it's msg input is, uh, which that's not the right one. Uh, here it is here. This is msg input. This is the uh, ID of this box here, which is how we're going to get the contents of that text box to figure out what message to send. So we're going to create a variable up here, call it msg input and set it equal to document dot get element by id msg input. Okay, so now we have the msg input. We're going to say message is equal to msg input dot value, which means we're getting the value of the text box. Then uh, now that we have the message saved in the variable message, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say if the message is blank, or we're going to say just if the message isn't blank, then we want to actually send it. If it is blank, we're just going to do nothing and we're just going to let the user actually type something in. So this just means if someone sits here and keeps hitting enter uh, on this text box, it's not going to send a load of, of uh, random um, blank messages into our database. So now what we want to do is we want to get the username because every message takes two uh, pieces of information. It takes the username of the person who sent it and the message itself. So we're going to say var username is equal to uh, a function called get cookie, which we'll create now. And we want to pass that messenger user or messenger union, which is the messenger cookie that we created. So here's the get cookie function. Instead of just creating it, I just use this one I found on the internet. So we're going to use that get cookie function. So we'll just paste it up here, change it to a small c because we're being consistent with all our other functions. So now that we have the username and we have the get cookie function, we can create our AJAX request. We say var, and we're going to call it XML HTTP. We're going to set it equal to a new XML HTTP request. And then what we're going to say is XML HTTP dot on ready state on ready state change whoops uh, is equal to function. Uh, this is uh, an anonymous function we're creating here because it just means it doesn't have a name. That's why it's not you know function test. We're just creating a function uh, that doesn't have a name. And then what we're doing is we're saying if XML HTTP dot uh, ready state is equal to four and xml dot uh, xml http dot status equals 200 well this means we've got the return value of our request so it means we've got the request and we've got the answer back from it that's what the uh, uh, this if statement means so that means the code in this if statement will only run whenever we send our request and we get the response from our server so what we're going to do down here is we're going to actually send the request. So what we do that is we say xml http dot open and the open function takes three parameters. It takes the type of request, which is going to be a get request, it takes the uh, address of the page we want to open, and it takes another parameter, which we're just going to set to true. So we want to request the update messages dot php page. So update messages dot php is where we're going to go to. We're going to provide it with a parameter called username and we're going to set that equal to uh, the username variable. And then we're going to provide it with another parameter called message, and we're going to set that equal to the message variable. Then we're going to say XML HTTP dot send, and that is our request sent. So up here we're going to say alert, and we're going to say XML. Actually, we'll just do console dot log to be honest, actually just because it's uh, easier. Console dot log, and we're going to log. Um, so we're just going to say XML HTTP dot response text and we're going to log that to the console so uh, what we're going to do is obviously upload this and we are going to refresh so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click inspect element um, just because that lets us go to the console then I'm going to put in some text we'll say this 
is a test. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're probably not actually going to get any output from this, but we'll just do it anyway. So we're going to say, um, send message. And we're just going to run that function from the terminal or the uh, console. And you can see we got a blank uh, reply. That's because if we go back to this page, we aren't actually printing anything. So I'll just echo test. And what we will get now is we will get test printed out to the console. So if I click send message, you see we get test now. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up and we're going to create a new variable called var msg area. And we're going to set it equal to document dot get element by ID msg area. Then what we're going to say is msg area dot inner html is equal to and we're just going to actually say plus equals this. Uh, don't worry about this code for now. The reason I haven't explained it is because all it is is it's the formatting for our uh, messages. So all it is is it's the message variable and the username variable that we have up here. We're not actually uh, re receiving anything from the update messages file. So we're just going to uh, use the data we've already got on this page. So, uh, so it'll make more sense when we actually see it. So what we're going to do is refresh. Ignore that error for now. We'll say this is a test and we're just going to run the send message function. And you can see this is what showed up. So MSG area uh, is this whole sort of square, uh, rectangle here. And what we're doing is we're appending onto its inner HTML, which is already blank. So we're just basically adding on to it uh, this div, which contains our message. That's why I didn't explain it, it's because it's just mostly styling. Uh, the only things that it actually is uh, sort of JavaScript code is the uh, test message or this variable here and this variable here. Everything else is just styling, which is why I didn't explain it. Uh, so here is the message and here is the username. We're not actually receiving them from the output of this file because this file doesn't output anything. Uh, we're so uh, what we're doing instead is we're just using the variable we got up here and the message from uh, where is it up here. And we're just putting it in the uh, sort of styling that we need for the message. So you'll see if I put in sort of another message, say Francis, and I go back to the console and run this function again, you'll see we got another message uh, printed out. And if I go to browse, you'll see that we have our messages in the database. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.